Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another tarot reading, Scorpios. Scorpios, thank you guys so much for your flood of support. I really do appreciate each and every one of you, Scorpios. You guys are absolutely amazing, and we're going to keep this thing going. I mean, we're just going to keep on moving forward in every aspect of our Scorpio beautiful lives, okay? Now, pretty soon, we're going to be strutting right into 2022. So I am speaking... Um, such an elegant, uh, classy, abundant 2022 for each and every one of you Scorpios who listen or tuned into this video and you claim you receive it. We're going to speak abundance in 2022 as a collective for Scorpios because we deserve it. We're claiming it and we are in agreement with the Scorpio. Let, let it be exquisite. So we're claiming exquisite 2022 Scorpio, okay? Hashtag exquisite 2022 Scorpio, okay? <laughs> Scorpio's world. Now we're going to start this reading off with the um, messages from your mermaids through spirit, Scorpio. To see what spirit wants you to know, what a spirit wants you to be aware of, Scorpio, in this present energy, this present time right now, Scorpio. Let's see. Spirit is telling you to move forward. It's ain't nothing good behind you. Move forward because, it's, Scorpio, you got something amazing in front of you, honey. All you have to do is keep on moving. Don't stop. No. Scorpio, keep on moving. Don't stop. Move forward, Scorpio. If there's anything behind you that you need, that Spirit feels like you need to, to get it, you best believe Spirit is going to make sure you get it. You're moving forward straight into a beautiful union, a connection with someone, Scorpio. This is why Spirit keep telling most of you, some of you Scorpios to move forward. I have something, I have amazing friendship in store for you, Scorpios. If you move forward, you, you'd be surprised of all the amazing things that are waiting for you if you move forward. Now look, there go magic. Some of you Scorpios are working your shit. This is like the magician card now, Scorpio. Some of you Scorpios are doing, uh, <laughs> doing magic. Um, someone could very well be trying to do magic on you uh, that wants that they want you to move forward with them in this friendship, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, your shit just got interesting. What you got going on? Scorpio, you're manifesting a lot of things in your emotional element, which is your spiritual power, Scorpio. Decisions. You remember in the last reading you had decisions. There are some decisions that you're going to have to make, Scorpio. Perhaps whether you're going to move forward or stay where you're at, I feel like. I ain't going to even say move backwards. I'm just going to say move forward or just stay where you're at. You have memories. Someone is in fond memories of you, Scorpio. Someone is looking at your photos. Now, this may be you looking at someone's photos here. This is an emotional thing because the murmurs, they live deep in the water. So this is a deep emotional thing going on here. Someone is looking at your memory. Someone's looking at your camp, your pictures, and they're they're reminiscing. They're thinking about times that you guys shared with each other, Scorpio. Now, it could be someone looking at your photos, wishing that you guys could make new mem memories. They could be looking at your picture like, "Damn, Scorpio, you look like you just have so much fun." I really wish I could make memories with you, Scorpio. It could be that way too, Scorpio. But either way it go, you're moving forward, honey. Now, <laughs> now. Magic, look, magic is all up here. Let me read magic right quick. See, that's the, I, I've never seen this card. <laughs> this is something else, Scorpio. Y'all working magic, Scorpio. You know, the magician card is considered magic. You know, it depends on what, 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 your, what your perception of it is. But magic is magic. <laughs> so let's see. This magic card, Scorpio says, open your eyes and heart to wonder in magic. Life is full of magical occurrences. A magical gift will soon be received or given. Ooh. Now, some of you Scorpios working magic on somebody. It's, 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 it's like some type of... It's almost as if someone's fantasy is about to be fulfilled, Scorpio. Okay? It's like a magical, mystical thing it's like if you don't pinch yourself, you won't believe that it's actually real and that you're actually in it, Scorpio. Let me read this now. Uh, look, it says a magical gift that will soon be received or given. Now, when it says magical, now it says magical gift. Now, what is the definition of magical? This is something that you don't see. It's like abracadabra. It's like the magician energy. Somebody is going to give you something magical, Scorpio, or some Scorpios are working magic to give to someone. You may be sending someone something, Scorpio. Damn. 
But if not, someone is trying to give you something magical, whatever this is, it could be a spiritual enlightenment. But I feel like this is a major thing that someone's trying to give you. Let me read it right quick, Scorpio. Okay, okay, okay. This card of magic has appeared in your spread, Scorpio, today because there's magic around you. Whether or not you know it, it's there. Will you recognize the signs of magic in action? Magic is everywhere and so often found in the things we take for granted. So look again at the magic and the wonder of life with childlike innocence and awe. A beautiful surprise is a magical sight as it is full or crescent moon. A rainbow is a sign, not only of magic, but also of hope. I remember I saw a rainbow and I'm talking about the sun was bright outside. And it's like it was hiding in the distance, but I saw it. And it's like it was just smiling at me. And I'm like, wow, look at that rainbow. Why is that rainbow here? And I tell you, that rainbow was for me, y'all. I'm telling you, Spirit made sure that I saw that rainbow because it was for me. <laughs> okay, so it says, a rainbow is a sign not only of magic, but also of hope. The gift of life itself is magical and is something we ought to show gratitude for as it's truly a gift. Celebrate the magic of each day. Magic is everywhere if we look and feel with all of our senses. This is because magic is spiritual. Scorpio, you're being called to recognize the magic within your own life and to show those close to you that magic is real and all around us. If anybody can show their ass, Scorpio, you can. Because, see, Scorpio, you delve within the emotions. You go deep. You look at the shadow side. You talk about all the things that people don't like to talk about. That's why you scare off a lot of people because they be trying to hide from stuff. But Scorpio digs that shit up because Scorpio is the freaking light. So it's telling you, introduce the magic to people. Some people think tarot cards is magic. They say it's witchcraft and all that shit like that. And I don't do that. <laughs> I ain't never did nothing like that ever in my life. All I'm doing is being familiar with what the card represents and pulling the energy back based on each card and whatever the spirit shows me channeling. How can this be a wicked thing? You know what? To, you can shut all that down. In the back, go get a, a pack of papers and just start writing down stuff. Now, what if all these cards you pull were ca cards of inspiration and hope? Would that be considered black magic and witchcraft then? No, some people, see, that's why the, even in the Bible says my people perish for the lack of knowledge. We don't understand things that we don't understand. We run from and we suffer because somebody else is understanding this and they're profiting off of it <laughs> now. But Scorpio Spirit is asking you to share your magic. Show people your magic. Your magic comes through your psychic abilities, uh, your healing powers, through your words, through your energy, the, taking them to the unknown spiritually. Scorpio, you know how to take a person to the unknown. I'm telling you, you do Scorpio, but it's like, oh my God. It's like, if this is your energy, this magic, this is your spread. Then I feel like you're, you're, you're like a forefronter. You're, you're like a forefronter Scorpio. So you're in now, look, if this ain't you memorizing and, and uh, in memory in that in six of cups energy could even be, I'm not going to say the five of cups, but someone in their feelings with these memories and they're reminiscing based on past energy. So if this is not you, now see, this could be you needing to decide, Scorpio, whether to move forward. And somebody could be trying to decide whether or not to move forward towards you or to just let it die. But if this is someone coming towards you, Scorpio, they could be trying to send some type of magic spell your way to make it more easier for them. Because <laughs> it says move forward in friendship, decisions. You're going to have to make a decision Someone is caught up on the memories of yesterday with Scorpio. Ooh, let me pull one more card, Scorpio. Look at you, Scorpio. You always start stuff. Ooh, Scorpio magic. I heard that shit. That's the best card up here to me. Because that means you can open some doors, Scorpio. You could get it popping. With, this, with, with, with the magician card, anytime you have the magician card or manifestation, what is this? See? Pardon me, Scorpio. These freaking, come on. All right. Look at this. This the card that fell. Inner knowing. This inner knowing is just like your magic here. It's something, see, <laughs> this is why spirit will pick you to, to uh, share, share your spiritual gifts or share the magic, Scorpio. 
because you have that deep inner knowing you're, you're so compelling here. It's like when anyone think of anything magical or, or mystical or, or secretive, they think of you, Scorpio, but not in a negative way. See, most people you scare off. <laughs> they can't handle that energy, Scorpio. They, they can't handle that, that magic or, or magician energy from a Scorpio awareness. See, some of you Scorpios have found your bag. You found your niche. You know what the heck you got going on and you working your shit. It says awareness, inner knowing here. Some of you Scorpios have really tapped into your manifestation capabilities and skills and you are powerful. And Spirit is telling you to share it. I didn't, I didn't give it to you for you. you. You using it for you, but you're the beacon. You're the bridge. You know, share it. Make more people aware of the magic that we all individually have so that everyone can have that inner know. Everyone needs an inner know. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Give me one more card for Scorpio spirit. What is this about? But this is beautiful. Look, miracles. Scorpios, you create miracles everywhere you go. Anytime you're in your gift and you're sharing your gifts, you create miracles, Scorpio. See, so you got magic and miracle. Both of these are strong spiritual cards here. Miracles is magic. <laughs> magic presents miracles. Ooh, Scorpio, look at you, Scorpio. Look at you. Oh my God, this is, I'm gonna have to title this magical, magical Scorpio. Ooh, Abracadabra Scorpio. Damn, the wizard of Scorpio. Letting go. See, this is why you have decisions here. And then you have, look at the bottom, you have love. <laughs> Scorpio, you can't get away from no love thing, girl. You got a boy. You got to figure out what you want to do. So you have decisions in the in the middle. You have letting go uh, on in the behind you, and you have decisions in the middle. And you have moving forward. So some Scorpios is trying to figure out whether or not they want to move forward towards a friendship, or should they let go. And for other Scorpios, I feel like for all of you Scorpios, you have this magical powerful gift that spirit has given you because you have this inner know you are aware of your inner know which which presents miracles for you when you tap into your manifestate we call it magic we call them a magician it's one of it's all the same words are magic you feel me that's why you got to use your words mindfully so i feel like some scorpios are in between making a decision between letting go and moving forward in a friendship with someone some Scorpios are in memory, are thinking about a person from their past here. And, and uh, spirit is also enhancing your spiritual gifts. Whew, it's going to, the only reason why I feel like this is going to be a push and pull between letting go and moving forward to this friendship uh, is because there's love involved. See, if love wasn't involved, it wouldn't be a decision that needs to be made here, Scorpio. Look, underneath that, you got recognition. And you got be spontaneous, Scorpio. Be, I feel like now, I feel like someone is trying to come towards you now, Scorpio. I feel like you do have the recognition because you are love and because you do bring awareness, Scorpio, because of your inner know. You can't bring awareness if you don't know shit. But in your inner knowing, you do bring awareness, which create miracles in our lives, Scorpio. But the spirit wants you to pass, pass the word, you know, share your gifts in this magic. Someone is being hopeful, Scorpio. <laughs> Look, someone feels like you are a mystery, Scorpio. They can't figure you out. But someone wants to really delve into their emotions about you. Someone is in their feelings about you, Scorpio. It could be you, but this is your ass, mystery ass. But someone, I feel like, wants to be spontaneous and move forward with you, Scorpio. Someone wants to take a leap of faith, but I feel like they're afraid. Well, they're not afraid you have hope. Ooh, they, someone, someone is being hopeful because someone is going to take a leap of faith and they coming towards you. Now, Scorpio, you're getting a lot of recognition. A lot of Scorpios are about, if you're dabbing in any type of spiritual practices, you're about to get a lot of recognition for your gifts. You're going to bring a lot of, you, you've, you've helped a lot of miracles here because of your inner knowing and you brought a lot of awareness and because of this love and recognition, you're going to create a lot of friendships, Scorpio. And I'm talking about platonic friendships. You do have a love that's coming towards you, but, but in your spiritual gifts, spirit is going to send you a lot of friendships here because of the recognition, because of your gifts. You know some shit, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. I like that, Scorpio. Ooh. Now let me see what else do I want to pull. What time is it, Scorpio? Let me pull 
Let me dare pull some of these romance angel cards. Cause I want to know who in love with you, Scorpio. I can't help it. I want to see, is there someone trying to move forward or someone wanting to let go or someone needing to let go? But Spirit, show me the energy of romance and love coming towards Scorpio, please. Scorpio, 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 Spirit, show me who is coming towards Scorpio in love and romance. Show me, Spirit. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Damn, Scorpio, y'all working y'all shit. I ain't mad that you work that shit, Scorpio. I ain't here to judge nobody. I don't care. I'm just trying to work my shit, whatever it may be. You hear me? Separation. See, some of y'all are in separation with someone. Some of you Scorpios are in separation with someone, and all they do is think about you, or all you do is think about them, Scorpio. And you're in this decision energy trying to figure out if you're going to move forward with this person or if you're going to let go and spirit could be telling some Scorpios to let go of this person or to let go of your, your blocks here, but I ain't going to clarify them. So spirit, show me who is coming to a Scorpio. What type of love or romance is coming to a Scorpio spirit? Show me. Ooh, deception. You got deception. Someone is wearing a false self mask in this relationship. Ooh. Spirit, show me who is coming to a Scorpio. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Someone needs to free themselves. And see, it could be, spirit could be telling you, you you got too much spiritual power to be still holding on to something that's being deceptive here. Engagement here. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So for some Scorpios, I feel like spirit is telling you to let go and move forward because you're going to move right into a, a solid re relationship. Love yourself first. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. I feel like this is pertaining to some of the Scorpios who are still waiting on an ex who... <laughs> it's okay to desire your ex, but if you put your life on hold, Spirit is telling you to love yourself first. You can't watch the water boil. Go it on and do you, and then if it's meant to be, it'll come back. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Now, this could be someone who is deceptive. They're deceptive because of their upbringing here. They want, they need to free their, they could be needing to free themselves out of a toxic family thing or a, t a toxic, uh, upbringing here because, you know, a lot of, a lot of people, male, masculine and feminine are messed up as because as a result of, you know, ooh, stay optimistic about your love life as a result of their upbringing. All these cars just fell down. And we can't judge them. Cause that could be any of us. It's just that we are as Scorpios, we put that work in. So we know when it's a problem, we don't mind fixing it. Not to say it's easy, but at least we don't run from it. All right, spirit, show me who's coming to us. Scorpio, Scorpio, you got true love coming towards you. <laughs> you always have love. Don't act like that. Scorpio, you always have love. That's why you got the love card right here. You always have love coming your way. What's love about? Let me see what this love card is about real quick. Since you're going to go there and act like you don't always have love, money, and them aces. You always have love, money, and aces. So this love card, Scorpio, from this uh, messages from the mermaid, it says, open yourself to universal or romantic love. Put yourself out there, <laughs> Scorpio. And maybe go on a date or rekindle the love within your current relationship. <laughs> this is the overall meaning of this card, but I'm going to go a little bit deeper here. So let me see. Okay. Love is the fragrance of enlightened spiritual people. Wow. That is beautiful. I can already tell this is beautiful here. Let me see what can I find just to, Okay. When you know your true value. And, okay, okay. Love is the... Okay. People find feel romantic love for each other uh, to love someone and yet also set them free is a beautiful thing when our emotions become involved and we become attached to and dependent on someone we can face issues perhaps you're experiencing this right now remember we're all born free which means we have the freedom to choose the path we take in life yes it's possible to be in love and still be free this isn't an excuse to play around with the hearts of others, uh, being free while in a loving relationships mean you give space for the other to flow and grow. It's still possible to remain loyal and in love while loving them unconditionally. 
The act of giving and caring is an expression of love. If you feel drawn to be of service to others, then this card's message is affirming that. Practicing random acts of kindness is another wonderful expression of love in action. Showing love to a stranger will lift their spirits and fill their hearts with hope. See, that's what I just said. You can love them from a distance. Like I said, don't watch the water boil, Scorpio. You, you release that love so that, and, 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 and let spirit show you whether or not it's for you because if it's yours, it's coming back to you, Scorpio. For some Scorpios, but you got true love here, Scorpio. Now, I don't know who this is. Let's see. Someone's having financials, finances, and career problems again, Scorpio. <laughs> Now, if it's, I asked spirit who coming towards you, who coming towards you is a true love that's got money problems. Look, since the last reading we did, I thought maybe their finances would have got better by now, but <laughs> since they want to keep showing up <laughs> and they unhealed ass <laughs> and they want to make the effort, they say great love is worth taking the steps you got to take. They want to take, they want to come towards you now. <laughs> But I feel like if this person can heal these family issues and free themselves, then they can enjoy this true love with you, Scorpio, in a fulfilling long-term relationship. Whatever these healing family issues is, is affecting this person's overall life. They can't love you because their money is messed up and their emotions is messed up too. Yet they're still in love with you. They consider you their true love. <laughs> Y'all true love, Scorpio. One more card, Spirit. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. So spirit is telling you, divine time. Look, but at the bottom, you got new love. So you got a new person coming in too now, Scorpio. A new person is going to come in and flirt with you. <laughs> so you got a decision. Look, you what it called it. This is why you got decisions too, Scorpio. Because you're going to have the choice between a past person. Like I said, either letting go or move. When you move forward, that's the new person. Uh, but if you, um, when you let go, I feel like if you stay back with Scorpio and don't let go, which you need to let go, you're going to be with this old person. But when you move forward here, move forward, the moving forward could be with this new love here. You got this new love and this ex here, Scorpio, regardless, okay? And your ex person wants to make the effort or this new love could want to make the effort because I feel like you're going to meet this new love. They're going to be flirting with you. You guys are going to be flirting with each other, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, you scandal, Scorpio. All right, Spirit, look, you got the Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio. Show me some more energy. <laughs> look, they just want to come up. Somebody's going to come in and try to charm your drawers off for the, winter, for the winter time, Scorpio. They said that they need your warmth. If this ain't you offering your cup of love to somebody, somebody's trying to come in and, and, and uh, love on you, Scorpio. They want they want to whisper sweet sweet somethings in your ear, Scorpio. This is what I feel. They want to whisper sweet somethings in your ear, Scorpio. But you do have the hangman. So this could be someone coming in to you or hoping that you've changed your mind or your opinion of them. But they hoping because if this the ex person, Scorpio, they're hoping that you're not you don't feel the same way you used to feel about them. They're hoping that you don't want to release your ex like like all the rest of the readings has been showing, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Show me, Spirit, what's going on. With, look, now you have the four of wands. Somebody wants to marry you now. It could be, I don't know who your true love is, Scorpio. You got either true love, either your ex is your true love, or this new love, Scorpio, is your true love. Keep that in mind. But whether it's your person from the past or the moving forward, somebody wants to settle down with you, Scorpio, in this four of wands energy. They want a life with you. They want happy times with you, and they want they want happy times in a relationship. Ooh. Temperance here. So patience. I feel like some of you guys have been very, very patiently waiting on something that you got worth waiting for. You got this temperance which is balance and fair, uh, balancing things out, pouring from each other's cup. This is a, how a relationship supposed to be. Uh, <laughs> it don't need to be no 70, 30, no 60, 40. Talking about the 50, 50 loving. Yeah. <laughs> this, that 50, 50 love right here, Scorpio and that temperance card. This, the, look, you got either this, this is from the new love or this is from the old love. But they're coming back in because they want to marry you. And it's going to be a 50-50 love, Scorpio. And this is your true love. <laughs> 
Something is a burden. Somebody is overloaded here. Someone is overloaded with their life's problem, Scorpio. And I feel like what they're, what they're missing is love, Scorpio. They're, they're missing love and the gentle kindness of Scorpio here. The will of fortune here. So it, this, this could be spirit telling you, Scorpio, it, prepare yourself. It is finally time for you to be in a relationship. Because like I say, you got the love card. It's like spirit is preparing you, Scorpio, for love. If you make sure you keep hope. And some Scorpios ain't been doing shit, yet you get mad because the ex is showing up. A spirit telling you, well, goddamn, get out the house and be spontaneous. Go, go pump, go, look, go, go pump lawnmower gas. Just, just get out the house and, and make sure you got on your aqua velvet <laughs> or your brute or whatever you were and get on out there. <laughs> be spontaneous and study. You just all in here binge terror watching. Well, how, how are you going to find somebody then? <laughs> look. They go the magician card again. Look, y'all ain't playing. Look, this is the magician card again. Spirit is telling you, you are good, Scorpio. I'm telling you, your energy has been on point. Quite naturally, someone wants to come in to you because you're the shit. You're in your power, magician card. You're able to manifest exactly what you desire, Scorpio. Some Scorpios are manifesting love at this time, and I feel it's coming in. Look, they go that Knight of Wands. Now you got the Knight of Wands, and you got the Knight of Cups here, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio. I feel like one of these is the old love, and one of these is the new love, Scorpio. Look, somebody is a boss. If this ain't you, this could be you the boss. This is why you got them coming all in. <laughs> and if this the case, if you the boss, you don't need nobody. You can buy your own goddamn me house and mansion because you're on the right side of karma because you've invested wisely, spiritually. Everybody think you got to make the earthly investments and invest in stocks, which is a good idea. But Scorpio has been investing correctly, spiritually. Therefore, when it's time to get a payout, See, Scorpio, y'all balling. I'm telling you, if you're not, you're in a boss's position. You're very stable and grounded. You got your mind focused on where it should be. There is happiness in the home because you're doing good. You're at peace. You're, you, 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 you are being rewarded from the universe because you have tapped into your spiritual power. You're a freaking spiritual beast now, Scorpio. Now, for some Scorpios, you got a boss. I said a boss, boss, boss coming in to put a ring on that thing. I'm just saying they coming in to put a ring on the Scorpio. They don't want to hit it and quit. They want to marry you, Scorpio. You got, look, <laughs> you can have up to three people in here or you got one of you. This could be the king of pentacles that want to come in here and, and, and they're going to be smooth at their approach. Because you remember right here, you got flirt and new love. So one of these could be this new love coming in on this night of, night of, night of, Either the Knight of Cups or the Knight of Wands, but really they're the King of Pentacles. But when they come in to you, they're going to be in this flirt energy. This Knight of Cups and this Knight of Wands is flirty, but this one is going is, is flighty. But at least the Knight of Cups taking their time. I'm just saying. Ooh, Scorpio. Spirit, show me some more energy for Scorpio, please. Scorpio, you got an amazing energy. Look, they go Gemini showing up in the house. You have decisions. You got a soulmate here, Scorpio. You got a choice to make, Scorpio, in who you want to be with. You do. Now, someone could be coming in here attached to someone else, but I don't feel like that. I feel like you're in your boss energy because after all, you done got the magician card about three or four times, Scorpio. You're manifesting shit. You, you're calling the shots of your life. This is what the King of Pentacles does. They call the shots. You're not waiting for nobody to come in and rescue you. You're buying your own shit. <laughs> I'm just saying. You're able to or you're working towards that. Look, but they go that six of cups. So you can look somebody, like I said, I feel like you got two. This is this Scorpio. You are amazing. Your, your cards be tripping me out. You got two different people here. Both of them is, is a spiritual connection here because I feel like this person from your past here, you got the person from the past Scorpio, the one who was deceptive, who needs to heal family issues. But, and I feel like this is them in this six of cups energy here. With this, uh, that that's probably in this ten of wands energy, cause even though they love you, they know it's gonna catch. They gonna catch hell trying to come back. And this could also be them in, in the six of cups that's sitting around here in this memories energy, sitting around here thinking about you. That's that's kind of like that six of cups energy too. All they do is think about you and watch your photos. See, this all they do is think about you, and it's a burden to them because they can't be a part of all these memories. They, when they think about you, they think about all of the fun times they've had with you. 
But I feel like this person is, is trying to come back in and balance the relationship out between the two of you. And I feel like this is the person from your past, which is a soulmate. And I feel like this new person coming in, which is this new love right here, is going to come in flirting. It's going to also be a soulmate of yours. Could be a, 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 a Gemini. But I also feel like this could possibly be this king of pentacles here. And it could, they be, could come in the knight of cups or the knight of one. But you got two soulmates here, Scorpio. Don't play with me. You always have two, you always have two soulmates in your energy. You always have, keep double, you always have multiple soulmates around. All right, spirit, what's up with this knight of wands for Scorpio? Knight of wands, see? I told you that that knight of wands is over here with this ten of wands. They wounded here. They're kind of reserved here, but this person's been through a lot of things, Scorpio. This is why they're ready to settle down now, Scorpio, because they've been through everything. I feel like this, this Knight of Wands is the same energy as the Six of Cups who needs to heal family issues because they're going there with this Ten of Wands energy. This is why they're always deceptive here. That's what it is, Scorpio. Now, uh, clarify the Wheel of Fortune for Scorpio. The Wheel of Fortune is clarified by Four of Swords. For some of you, Scorpio, you're going to hit the, you're going to hit, you're going to hit such a big lick in money. You're going to just take a break from your job. You're going to go on a long ass, long cruise, a long vacation. Something is going to set you up because of something that you've invested in. And I feel like what you've invested in was spiritual work here. However, that is spirit. Clarify the magician. Look, Ten of Cups, Scorpio been manifesting love around this thing. Scorpio has been manifesting an ideal relationship here. This is what you're doing. This is why the magician card is showing all up. For some of y'all, Scorpio, y'all doing love spells on people. Now, I'm just saying, look, I don't care. I'm just saying. You got the Ten of Cups, the King of Pentacles. Now, we know the King of Pentacles is the settling down type. This is why I feel like this um, Knight of Wands is full of crap in this deception energy because... Uh, they, they look, 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 they rushing in and out. They're the ones that's wounded. This is a wounded soldier, but they still want to try with you, Scorpio, because they're in love with you. <laughs> All right, spirit, clarify this Knight of Cups for Scorpio. Knight of Cups is clarified by the Seven of Wands. So either this person's coming in to fight for this connection, Scorpio, or they're coming in to you and you've already set a, a booby trap for them. You've already set boundaries with this person. So this could be the past person trying to come in that you're trying to block away from you, Scorpio. Spirit, clarify the hangman. The hangman is clarified by the uh, nine of swords here. Now, <clears throat> somebody's hoping that... I feel like this is what this person... This person does not want you to be like this when they come to you in this Knight of Cups. They're hoping that you had a change of your mind is not still on how they did you in the past. Uh, and I feel like they're stressing out about it. Because the last thing when they approach you and try to offer you this cup of love, because all they do is think about you. Now, this is this is Six of Cups person with the Ten of Wands. They don't want you blocking them. They don't want you to put your guards up around them. But, but this is what they're dreading, that if they come to you, if you haven't, if you still feel the same negative way about them, then they're stressing them out. This person thinks about this all night long. They can't even sleep because they're compelled to come to you with this soulmate connection. But they know that when they do come, they hoping that you don't feel the negative same way. But you do because you sit up here in the seven of wands. <laughs> Spirit, clarify this four of wands. Why is this here? Four of wands is clarified by the tower. Some of you Scorpios are about to get a new home and you, you're not even going to see this coming. Spirit is about to blow your socks off, Scorpio. I'm telling you. who Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. You, I feel like either you're, been, you're finna be approved for a little, a hell of a lower than what you thought. I feel like y'all just finna get some money and something is going to happen. Now, either this tower is represented, some of you Scorpios are going to get a house that you didn't think you was able to get. And some of you Scorpios, you're going to be totally surprised by how somebody come in to you because they're coming in as for a commitment for a marriage. You're going to be like, what? I thought you just wanted to holler at me. You talking about marriage? And you're going to be shocked this person. It could be the same one, right? You could be shocked this person talking about marriage when you haven't been around them because they're trying to come back to you. And you're like, damn, I thought we was going to at least start out being friends. That's why you got friendship right there. But now this, parent, this person... Like I say, they in this night, they in this nine of wands because of their knight of wands uh, uh, lifestyle. 
They so wounded, they don't wore themselves out. <laughs> they don't wore themselves out. Don't think they got left is to build a family with what they got left. I'm telling you, this person will wore themselves out physically, wear it being, being actively like that in this playboy energy. So, yes, they want to come back to you because this lifestyle here has begun. It's a burden to them now because they, they realize it ain't get them nowhere. You're not with them. You're doing good away from them. You're manifesting things in your life. So they want to come back to you, but they're afraid that if they do come back to you, even though they want you to, to come back, they feel like you're going to be blocking it. And this is what they stress about it. They couldn't handle it if you reject them, Scorpio. Not you. You ain't supposed to reject them. You, Scorpio. All right, Spirit, clarify temperance. Ace of Wands here. See, this person trying to come back in. Now, whoever this is, either this, it says love yourself first. Well, I'm not clarifying these. These are just the cards I'm pulling. But somebody's coming in here to have a fair, balanced relationship with you, Scorpio. It could be the ex or it could be this new love, but you got a brand new beginning. Now, you see this new love, it's new. And it's passion, it's flirt. You, this, look, this new love, y'all y'all gonna start off flirting. You can start out flirting, end up being friendship, end up being in a friendship, and uh, end up in a long-term commitment here. This person is coming in. You got this new person coming in here that, that's ideal for you. They know how to uh, be in a relationship here. They're balanced here. You know, they know they know what how to please their woman or their man. They already know it. This is who spirit is sending for you if you move forward, Scorpio. All right, this King of Pentacles spirit. Clarify the King of Pentacles. King of Pentacles is clarified by the Eight of Swords here. So for some of you Scorpios, you're stuck. Or some of you Scorpios, your, your person want to come back to you. Could have been a baller or they could have went to jail because of some type of money issues here. Now, for some of you Scorpios, you got a person who... Uh, for some of you Scorpios, you are the king of pentacles. For some Scorpios, you got a person who probably was in a, another relationship and they're stuck in their relationship while they're thinking about you trying to come back to you, Scorpio. Oof. All right, Spirit, clarify this lover's card for Scorpio. What is this lover's card about? Page of Wands. See, somebody's going to communicate with you, Scorpio. So, but somebody just want to... I feel like... With the lover's card here, it could be that somebody also, Scorpio, wants you, but they want a sexual relationship with you. They're not really trying to get very serious with you because they're already stuck in something, Scorpio. Now, it could be that whoever... Give me another card for this tower, spirit. Three of pentacles here. Now, it could be that some Scorpios are... Damn. Damn. It could be you're going to be surprised. Some Scorpios are going to have a surprise uh, invitation to uh, partner up with someone and open up your business in a new building, but you're going to be working with other people. And someone else is going to carry, someone else is going to carry the tab for you, Scorpios, what I see. Because this is a surprise. With this. You don't see this coming with the tower card. When you're dealing with pentacles, you're dealing with money. Something is dealing with a, a building, a structure, whether it's a house, a home, a building, or it could be a relationship. Now, if it's a romantic relationship, you're going to be surprised that someone wants to come in and uh, marry you. They're not, they, they're not even trying to go through the court stage, the courtship stage. They just want to marry you. Um, and you guys are going to work on this partnership together, Scorpio. It's about money, too, though, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio. Spirit, clarify the Eight of Swords. You got two different people here, Scorpio. Look, <laughs> Ten of, uh, Queen of Pentacles. Now, it could be that this person is stuck on your ass, Scorpio. This is another twin flame. See, this is some, This is a twin flame or a soulmate connection. They stuck on you, Scorpio, because they're the King of Pentacles, and you're the, they're trapped and stuck with you. I feel like this person is stuck on you because they're coming back to you. You're not going back to them. They're coming back to you. This is who this boss is stuck to. They're stuck to their other half. But you, you're not with them. So even if this person try to go on, you're still in their head because they're thinking about this, this, this power couple. For some of you Scorpios, I feel like you was in a relationship that was tested because... All right, Scorpio, let me end this video before it cut out on me. 
All right, Scorpio, this has been your reading. So if it resonates, please like. Look, you got the Empress at the bottom, the pay, the four cups. I don't want to cut out. I shouldn't. Wait a minute. Let me pull you these because this this one, this device right here been clowning, Scorpio, and I don't want it to freeze up on me and do all those things it do, and I be losing. So let me pull you one card here. You got two people coming towards you. You got two different soulmates. You got a past person and a new person, Scorpio. That's what you got coming in, Scorpio. Now you have universe. It says the universe will show me the right path to take to reach my goal. Scorpio, don't worry about it. Just make sure you keep your focus. Your focus on things that I, I focus my logical mind to make smart, effective business decisions. See, I feel like you and this person was supposed to team up and be a boss together, but they had they made up their own mind to go somewhere else, Scorpio. Now they're wanting to come back to you, Scorpio. But I feel like, especially if you're sitting as the queen of pentacles, you're, you're doing good anyway. And then you got this, this will of fortune. I feel like some Scorpio is going to hit the lottery and you're going to quit your job is what I see with this four swords here. You're still the empress though, Scorpio. The high priestess, y'all may not be talking to each other. Someone was toxic or someone could be obsessing over you and this devil energy could be dealing with the Capricorn. So I feel like you're, you're constantly uh, expanding, Scorpio, and you have decisions. See, look, you got this Ace of Pentacles. See, you always have money around you. Like I said, I feel like you and this King of Pentacles were supposed to build an enterprise together, Scorpio. For some of you Scorpios, your ex is going to come back to you, someone who uh, spiritually you supposed guys supposed to have worked together to build this boss team. And they're going to come in and, and try to make you an offer so that you guys can work together. But but they're going to, the deception lies where they're going to just try to act like all they want to do is work with you. But they're going to try to move in with you. And, and next thing you know, you'll be in a relationship with this person. But you got new beginnings everywhere. Someone is either obsessing over you or someone uh, has some type of addiction or could be stuck on someone else. You got a couple of different people in here, Scorpio, coming in to check you out. I'm telling you, you do. <laughs> All right, let me wrap it up right there, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio, if this video resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell, Scorpio. Thank you guys so, so much. I love each and every one of you, Scorpios, and I'll talk to you on the next video. Bye, Scorpios.